was a good one, huh? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, dudes and dudettes. It is video numero dos. On day 195 of Dave's Daily D, Dave's Daily Discussions, you know me. I'm Dave. The video earlier cut off, had a memory issue, a cloud issue on this iPhone. But for as frustrated as I've, you know, I've given Apple a lot of flag over the years and I've hated on them. There's a lot of positives to Apple, but I mean, I still have my skepticism and all that ordeal. But this morning when my video cut off, it just stopped and was gone. I went in and I realized, oh crap, I just deleted a bunch of, you know, old videos and stuff that are uploaded into Instagram and YouTube and all that. I don't need them on my phone anymore. I deleted a bunch of things to try and clean up my memory a little bit. I forgot what's nice about Apple is, you know, it's all right there in the gallery. You can go to recently deleted that's waiting for you. You can bring it back from the dead or you can straight up Thanos it and get rid of it. Android, my Galaxy, there's like a whole separate app and it locks you in and it's a big pain in the butt and you've got to look through 70 freaking folders to figure everything out. It's a real pain. Most frustrating situation, the, the biggest knock that I ever dealt with with Android. The biggest amazing thing that happened though is that video was pretty solid. There, I did not expect it to go the way that it went. I was pretty happy with it. And I was upset and frustrated because it was bringing back emotions and bringing back frustration from when I had the Android issue where I kept having memory issues where I was losing videos because in the middle of it, it would just stop. It wouldn't even like warn me, hey, your you know, memory is getting full. Um, you know, hey, screw you, fuck off. You know, it's, you know, we're, we're gonna end this video and it's gone, it's not there. There's no trace, you can't recover it. Zip, nada, Apple. This iPhone that I have, I thought it was gone. I cleaned out that recently deleted folder, freed up a bunch of space from the, you know, the 70 videos in there recently deleted. And, you know, about an hour later, I'm in my gallery doing something or whatever I was doing. And I realized as I was posting something, hey, there's a video right there. And that looks like the outfit that I was wearing to the gym this morning. Huh. So I clicked into it and I hit play. It was the video. It was there. After it was gone, after Thanos snapped his fingers and made it disappear, it was there! The Avengers did what they had to do, spoiler alert, and they brought my video along with the other half of the population back into existence. And well, here we are, I'm, I'm making another video, we're recording, it's still on. So three and a half minutes into my rambling, I gave you some, uh, you know, some nice, Marvel tidbits. I gave you some some cliffhangers. I gave you some some information there to kind of really pull you in here before I snap my fingers and make it all disappear again. Press the button. Here we are again. So uh, you know I, I've seen a lot. I've been going through it. I, I don't know to what extent. You know when I was in my teenage years, I had a lot of trouble, and this is why I have such a strong stance on the drinking age and things of that nature, being 21 or older, and maybe even older. I, I, it's a tough subject, but most people, it's, well, there shouldn't be any regulation if you can serve in the military, blah, blah, blah. Listen, as a, a guy who studied psychology, I'm not an expert, but as somebody who has went through life and is very aware of how the mind works and what I felt growing up, and to see a lot of the people that I have lost prematurely to their own demons, I was not in their heads, I was not in their minds, I was not in their body to see what was going on. That is why I always say to be a beautiful person to everybody because we have no idea what anybody is dealing with. We have no idea what demons people are fighting. Even when I am smiling and having the greatest day out in public in front of people and I'm putting on a show and being my comedic self, as soon as I walk away and I'm going home and it's me by myself on the ride home, even if I'm in a room full of people looking happy, there might be some issues going on internally that you're battling. And this is not just me, there are a lot of people out there and if you're watching and you're late, 
You're not alone. I will talk to you. I will be there for you if you need that. But listen, to be a good person to everybody, to make sure that you don't push that one person over the edge, that you're not that next, that, that straw that broke the camel's back, that you said the wrong thing or you treated somebody wrong or you just gave the wrong vibe and didn't even realize it by giving a dirty look or something. You made fun of somebody, you know, whatever the case is that you did and you actually push that person over the edge and something bad happens because they were battling a lot of demons and you were just that last thing that clicked and said, you know what, I'm done. What the heck was that? <clears throat> something hit my windshield sorry mid thought if you're that last person you know it's, it's gonna suck to be but you know there's a lot of people out there that are really good people and nobody deserves to have to go through life feeling that way feeling that aloneness feeling that that drowning feeling by themselves when they're alone at night and to not be able to you know keep your head above that water that that hypothetical that in your mind water to, to stay up above that moment where you're just like man can I do it anymore? Can I escape? And, uh, you know, I've had a lot of thoughts over the years, but the main thing that I'm getting into on the point, teenagers and even people who are, you know, above 21, but teenagers, I mean, we're still trying to figure life out. We don't even have as many responsibilities. We haven't had as much experience in life. And the moment you start putting alcohol or mind altering things into your body, a lot of those things are a catalyst. They will help accelerate, intensify the feeling that you're going through. You might not even be consciously going through that feeling or being aware that you're going through that, that moment, that emotion is in there. You suppressed it, you buried it down, you know, you lost somebody, you're going through some stuff, you're super stressed out, chemical imbalance, whatever the case may be, and you start drinking or you start doing something that is mind altering and out of nowhere, this suppressed internal pre-conscious comes out of you just like when you dream you start having these dreams you don't know why well they're, you're dealing with something inside of you that you don't even realize you're not dealing with you're pushing it down and dealing with it the wrong way I do it you start drinking and doing using mind altering things and that feeling that is inside of you just comes out and it is intense and it is ugly and you can have these up and downs. You can have, you know, you can you could drink and you could have a really happy time. And then you could drink another time and you could just be very, very angry or very, very upset, emotional. A lot of things. You could be extremely numb. And when your mind is altered by those things, you can make really bad decisions because you're not thinking clearly. And those thoughts that are really down in there that you're not dealing with, they take over in an intense fashion and you just make a poor decision because you don't think there's another option. I don't even want to say a poor decision. It might be the wrong word, but you make a decision that you would not have made if you weren't under the influence of something because you're, you know you're stronger than that and you, were, you let your guard down and you're using something of that nature, whatever the case may be. What I want to say to you is that there, we don't know how to deal with these things when we're younger. Even as we get older, we can have a really, really bad day and we can feel very, very weak that day. And it could be the, the day that we have been afraid of for a long time. And I have noticed that there's a lot of people that I know that are going through these things, whether it's on occasion, whether it's often, and I don't have any, you know, judgment to them I understand them and I believe in them and I hope that they find what they need I hope they find what I found most days I have my rough days I mean I've had them I've, I've talked to people there are people that I know that may even watch that know that you know I've, I've had dark times I've had tough times even now when things are as great as they are you know you could be having the best day or the best situation you'd be successful everything could be going right and you still you have a rough day you have a rough mental day where you just feel like you know i i don't know if i'm worth it i don't know what's here for me and some people are going to scoff and some people are going to roll their eyes and say they don't understand 
I don't know what to tell those people who feel that way other than have a little bit of sympathy and empathy because it's not some poor old me. It's not this made up thing. It is a real thing that many, many people feel and a lot of people hide it. A lot of people hide it and they fake it and then out of nowhere we lose that person because in society it has become such a judged and it's, people get beat down for feeling things. People get beat down for being passionate and feeling passionately, for feeling intensely. I am an intense emotion person. I, my emotions are more in check. I don't just get like emotional and fly off the handle in an angry or sad way. But I, I have days where like I could be great and then just the energy changes. Like I'm great and then as soon as I get off work, I'm going home or I'm in the gym or whatever, I don't know where that, it just, something happens and it, I just don't, I don't feel right. I don't feel good. I don't feel happy. I feel alone. I don't even want to pull off the highway to go do something that I wanted to do, like going to the store, getting gas. Like you just, you're numb, you feel paralyzed and you don't feel like there's anything you can do. And there's a lot of people that probably have a lot more to say about it that I'm not even touching on here. And I want to be there for those people as best as I can. And I know that even me as somebody who go through, goes through that feeling of not knowing if you're worth it, not knowing the thing that, that, that settles and that keeps pushing me forward is I know that I'm meant to do something different. I'm meant to do bigger things here. I know that my personality, my, my intellect, the things that I say and do, like I want to keep pushing forward and moving forward because I want to make a difference to other people. I want to save people from that feeling. And that pushes me forward to know that I am, I have way too much that I feel like I have to do here to ever cut out early before I'm taken for whatever reason. And it's gonna take somebody else to take me out or my body to give out before I, I disappear because I feel like I have a duty here. And uh, I can't speak for other people. I can say it to the blue, the blue in the face that I'm here for you. Uh, you know, we can go out to dinner, we can talk on the phone, we can video chat, we can go for a walk, a drive, whatever. If you need me to go with you to an appointment, something, if you want me to be there because you're afraid to go alone, whatever it is, I mean, I'm there for people. I don't care if I know you or not. I don't want anybody to feel so alone that they can't make it through the evening, the night. I don't care if it's three in the morning, four in the morning, five in the morning, call me. Whatever the case is, if you feel like you have those moments and you know that you can trust me after what I've said here, give me your number. I'll give you my number. And if you need me in those, and that and that night or that time alone where you're driving home or you're in bed and you just, you don't know what to do, and you're grasping for straws, call on me. I wanna be there for people. And uh, this video wasn't gonna go this deep into this, I was gonna go into other topics, but you know, here we are. I mean, I wanted to get into this. This is a very big topic and I literally have a lot of people who are close to me. There's a lot of people who, between being close or if I'm not close that I really, really care about. There are some really, really beautiful people out there that I know that are going through things. And I know that, you know, sometimes somebody else's words don't really make that difference or any of those things. Um, <clears throat> but I'm just trying to make that difference. I'm just trying to be there to at least say, hey, I'm seeing a cat, I wanna make sure it's not getting into my internet cord. Um, hey, I'm here, like, you, you're not alone call on me. I, I don't want people to feel like they're alone. I, I have lost way too many people that I know that I went to school with, that I grew up with, people in the passing that, I, that I've known. I, I have seen way too many people pass and I don't want to watch more people do it because they feel like they didn't matter, that they didn't have anybody, that nobody was there. I'm here for all of you. So if you come across this and you feel alone and you're, and you're feeling down, whether it's, you know, often, whether it's just randomly, it just happens like it happens for me here and there. You're not alone. Talk to the people that you care about. Talk to the people that care about you, that you trust. Or if you don't wanna to talk to somebody that you know, talk to a complete stranger that, not a complete, complete stranger, but talk to somebody that you know, isn't, you know, that you know isn't gonna judge you. Um, that's the biggest thing is if you go to talk to somebody and they don't sympathize, they don't empathize, they make it about themselves, or if they, um, you know, make you feel crazy or, or don't say anything back like they just give you the wrong vibe, it's not gonna help. So make sure that you're talking to the right people. Um, so like I said, I, I made this video very clear and uh, 
the the subscribers the people who are supporting it and watching i appreciate you guys so much thank you i'm, I'm watching this blossom and grow um it's not exploding we're getting there we're working on it i'm gonna keep doing my thing and uh, i just want to keep making a difference i'm here to do something bigger than just wake up go to sleep go to work pay bills things of that nature i'm i am here to make a difference and i'm going to keep doing this thing until i make that difference and continue making that difference so I love y'all. Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode, to another day of Dave's Daily D, Dave's Daily Discussions. Have a good night, guys. It is hump day. We are about to roll into Juicebox Thursday.